Hey, how are you? I'm here with Nat, the owner of Home Slice Pizza. He serves up one of, if not the best pizzas in all of China, and today he's gonna to be showing me how to make one of their special edition pizzas, the Kung Pao Chicken Pie. Kung Pao Chicken, that's one of those dishes that foreigners and Chinese will recognize. They eat it a lot in China and they eat it a lot in the US. So this is the Kung Pao chicken sauce. Garlic, ginger, uh, yellow rice wine, um, uh, sweet sweet noodle sauce, tian mian jiang, mm -hmm. uh, dou ban jiang, so the uh, fermented bean, bean sauce. And I think that's about it. Do you put any of the um, Ma la in it, or any of the the ma, which is that yeah, there is, Sichuan there is spice. Sichuan pepper, that's one thing I forgot, and we put some of that on after the cooking as well. I love that kick. That's one of those things you don't find in Chinese food back in the U.S. And this is actually adding MSG to the pizza because this is the world's greatest natural source of MSG. Uh, Parmesan. Parmesan, yeah. And it just like naturally has it. Or yeah. It's, oh, yeah, I did so not. I thought it was a completely artificial yeah. uh, ingredient. So we use a blend of two different mozzarellas from the U.S. One a low moisture one, and one a regular. Has the whole like U.S.-China trade war affected you at all? Yeah. Uh, well, we've seen inklings of it with our with our parmesan, our main cheese, touch wood. All right. But mozzarella hasn't been touched by it, but that's a 25% tariff. Wow. So, but they've already put the tariff on some of the other types yeah, of cheese. Yeah. Well, I, one, it's on all of it. Oh, one of our suppliers has passed it on to us, the other hasn't. If that happens, I mean, that's cheese is our biggest cost. I have to look at prices, which is bad for customers. This is where the the pie really comes together. The garnish. Uh, and they got a nice crunch to them. It might be the first pizza I've had peanuts on. I think. I haven't seen a lot of Asian themed pizzas out there, and this is probably the best one I've had. Have you ever tried the durian pizza? No. <laughs> and I don't think I will be no, trying the durian I pizza. It's, it's, it, but it's very popular. I oh, had a bit of garlic. Uh, have you ever been to a Caesarias? No. I they do like a fruit pizza. That's a little too much. There's like kiwi, peach, pineapple, and, uh, cheese. and cheese. I don't need like a fruit cocktail on top of the dough. My friend sent me a picture of one the other day. that had hot dog sausages, uh, broccoli, cauliflower, strawberries, and pineapple on it. And cheese. Was this in Shanghai? Or? I, I don't know where he found it. Would you like to try some? Let's dig in. Yeah. It's got that Shanghai flop. One bite, everybody knows the rules. Mm. It's got the nice crunch of the peanuts and the chilies. A light dough. And that sauce. That sauce is great. I like how the chicken isn't too dried out or anything. Yeah. Is that because you so brine it first? The brining and the pre-cooking, so it's just cooked enough at this, at this stage when it comes out. Oh, okay. Yeah. The crust, if you try this, you would think that it's made in the U.S. Well, if you like Chinese food and you like pizza, you'll love this. But hey, even if you've never tried Gung Bao Ji Ding in your entire life, Gung Bao Chicken, you'll still love this. What do you think about sticking with the fusion theme and letting me try to make a crab rangoon pizza? Let's do it. I'm pretty good with a wonton wrapper. I don't know how good I am with a ball of dough, but we'll see.